So initially I was going to go over my last the my experience with my keyboard over the last month and then I decided to switch it up because there were a couple other things I wanted to mess around with first. So it it's still been about a month that I've been using the Zen kernel and there have been some some quirks that I have noticed I think with it and then some other things um that have been a little bit smoother. So the first thing off is like things that seem to have been, seem to be like marginally smoother. I haven't like flipped back and forth between the normal kernel and the Zen kernel to really like double check everything to see like how it feels. But I remember like when I first booted up like under Zen kernel, it was like marginally faster and so on. So for like the lighter workloads, it's not as noticeable, but I, but as I've been playing like Stellaris and a couple other things, it's like, okay, it is a little bit smoother than like I would otherwise have. And there's some other things I've been like doing along there too, like moving some of my web browsing stuff into Fire Dragon, which is a Firefox fork and has a couple other things, well, Lib it's a LibreWolf fork that's a fork of Firefox. And so it's complicated like that. But, oh, there's also been some redu reduction that I've done. And I've had, like, video card driver updates since that has probably also helped to improve some of the performance. But, I mean, for the most part, it's basically been a standard experience for me like it's very usable some of the things i'm pretty sure yeah there there's like a lot of smoother stuff it i do run into like hiccups and issues when of course i'm like trying to watch videos and playing games at the same time for some reason so like i'll be playing like a nice big old strategy game like stellaris and having a youtube video going off on the same at the same time in on my other monitor and it's just like kind of trying to decide like which one it wants to go with or even if i'm like doing off rendering something like minecraft onto the video card itself and then i'm watching videos otherwise it's still kind of chunky but other than that it's like really really smooth with when i'm not dealing with that so i actually don't know if it's going to work here so like for example last night when i was playing messing around in volcano block oh i had a free tube going with the video and it was kind of really choppy then once i got rid of the video that i was watching kind of catching up on like star league stuff um then it like really smoothed out and was a really smooth experience so we'll give it a second to so i'm not sure if it's going to show very well in obs because it's like dropped the frames that it's recording at from 60. so we'll see what happens So, like I mentioned, it was, like, really choppy. I'm sitting there getting, like, lower than 30 frames a second playing it at the point. A few moments later. Didn't expect Xorg to crash. <laughs> so, you you may run into some issues. Um, Yeah, Xorg, like, just crashed and, like, booted me back out to, um... Oh, what? SDM, I think. So that was interesting. But yeah. Um, it was running okay. But yeah, apparently it doesn't like when I run OBS and that at the same time. I mean, I could try it again, but then I'd be sitting here for a while. So some of the other things that I noticed. So prior to moving to Zen Kernel, I had issues with Steam like freezing, and that's still been an factor in all of it too part of it i think is due to the fact of using a heavily chromium based browser 
um, off to the side rather than something else. So, so moving to Fire Dragon, I noticed that it seemed to do that a little bit less, but it still does it. So like Steam will still like freeze up and do whatever it wants to. And then other than that, um, a lot of things have been decently smooth. So I, I still get pretty good performance from, like, all my Steam games and whatnot. I mean, basically, it's built for performance stuff. Um, how good it compares, I'm still not quite sure. There's a lot entailed in it. Um, video rendering does okay. And... Yeah, I mean, I think video rendering might be slightly faster. Again, most of my gains, I, I think, have been marginal. But I haven't, I don't think I've really had the super heavy workloads to where I've noticed it. I think I've been able to off-put it in other areas that it's, like, not quite noticeable. But, I mean, I think the biggest one is... What I think through all my experience, I've had the fans run a little bit quieter, so that's something to take into account. Is like, yeah, my fans don't quite run as loud, so yeah, that's a met an important metric, even though I don't quite notice it like visually. I guess that's an important me metric I haven't really thought of, so maybe another month and we can compare like. I can pay attention to what my fans do because I've like noticed like okay how are my fans doing oh, okay they're okay uh uh okay so I mean it's a very usable kernel like if you can install it like I'd just do it honestly because I mean what have you really got to lose unless you've got a potato in which case I'd probably stick with a standard one but I think a good number of people looking at this have, like, beefier computers. So, you may notice a difference, you may not. I mean, I know some people, like, swear by the Zen kernel. But, I mean, I, I'll probably end up replacing using the Zen kernel from here on out, like I've done for, the, like, the last month. And just not think about it. Especially being as, like... Grub. So, you know, since my default O1 oh, has basically turned into the Zen kernel, since I updated my O oh, config, so now each time it loads up my default one, it'll just load the Zen kernel, which I am completely okay with haven't had an issue with it at all so yeah and yeah i've got a couple other things in there um one thing i will mention so my old laptop had this issue where if i like just straight up rebooted it like my audio started popping and i couldn't like really hear anything it just like popped on the linux side and so I had to completely shut it down and then turn it back on. This one I haven't had an issue with. So I can just like reboot, boot into Windows and boot back and be just fine. Literally, like the only reason I have Windows is for basically grinding oh, Halo for the most part. And I think like one or two other games and that's about it because they don't quite work under Wine and whatnot. So yeah, but yeah. That is my experience after a month, about a month, with the Zen kernel. Um, if you found this informative, you know, the comments and stuff down below. I know some people were interested in my experience with it. So, like, this has been my experience, like, so far for the last month. I may revisit this topic down the road later for, like, other metrics to s see how it goes. But other than that, it's been pretty decent pretty smooth everything like any some things i mean 
not really cleared up many things, uh, but some things have, like, gone a bit, been okay. So, yeah. I will see you guys later.